Let me just start with a wide shot to uh, get you an idea what's what's going on. So first of all, Chris is now on land, and so it's basically nothing anymore. But that was uh, formed quickly. We've been watching it for a while, but it formed quickly, got on land, and that was it. Barrel, and then you have your invest behind this. And we're just not going to talk much about this for right now because we've got plenty of time to watch that, but it's following a similar path to barrel. So here is that just perfect uh, the eye that is now moving through the Caribbean Sea. I, I was showing you this just a couple of minutes ago, so I'm just going to kind of rush through this. And really what I want to get to is the end of the forecast and what are the players and what could potentially happen once it moves through the Yucatan. Because if it follows this northern tip, it's still spending a lot of time over water and not much time on land. So as it enters into the Gulf of Mexico, if it's on this northerly track, very easily could still be a hurricane. If it goes over land, though, it's going to have a tough time recovering. And so what you're looking at is a tropical storm. And again, the most likely scenario is that's moving toward Mexico. But it's not the only scenario because you do have this curve as you move move up to the end of the week. So what's happening right now? So first of all, this upper level high is steering this almost directly from uh, east to west. So it's almost like if, if you ever taught you, uh, your son or daughter how to ride a bike and you get behind them and you push when they don't have the training wheels on, whatever direction you push them in is the direction they're going to go. They don't just turn right away, otherwise they would crash. So the, the hurricane is basically doing the same thing. That upper level high is steering it. And for right now, an area of high pressure is blocking it from moving into the United States. But that high is not going to be there next week. And by the way, wind shear is going to weaken barrel as it starts to move off to the east. So there you see that hurricane. Watch what happens is, oh, you know, I went through that too quickly. Let me go back again. Watch what happens with this as this moves a little closer to the Yucatan. What's happening is you're, you're, the chance of being a hurricane is pretty small. It's about 20% as it enters into that wind sheared environment. But look at this. This is really interesting. What are the chances of that it's a hurricane as we head toward next Monday? week from today. We got this blue colored area. You look up there, it's about a 20% chance that it is a hurricane because if it is that far north in South Texas, there would be a hurricane because you're not spending a whole lot of time on water. But you really get the idea of here when you look at it, it's like, well, it's why is it so far up to the north and not in Mexico? Here's the reason. There's an opening that it actually can move into Texas. There's an upper level high out here in California. That's the one right now that's blocking it from moving through. There is a small area of high pressure, but here's the opening. It's where the trough of low pressure is. So that high would block it for now, but as we head toward Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there is at least the potential that it can move up to the north. So all we can do right now, because we're talking about something a week to uh, eight to nine days away, is simply watch this for you, and that's what we're going to be doing.